What's going on guys, No Slack Novak here with episode 4 of our Ostriv Let's Play series. Now, I'm having a lot of pl uh, a lot of fun. I'm having a lot of fun playing this game. And look at this awesome windmill over here. That just looks awesome. That that's a great. Whoever designed this, absolutely amazing, amazing work. That looks really really freaking cool. Look at that. Anyways, guys. So, uh, last episode, we got a lot done. A lot. Um, we kind of uh, set our farming schedule here for the next three years, which now it's really just two more years. Uh, we did some more houses over here, too. We constructed these three houses. We have three new families that just moved in. And look at that. The little little daughter over here. Uh, Seven-year-old Olena in her nice little dress. Probably going to go hang out with her new friend over here. Uh, age three, though. Look at that. Age three and going out all by yourself. Cool, cool. Uh, anyways, they're going to probably go out and play. We did that. We built our little cow shed over here, too, which obviously we don't have any cows in there because we haven't got our, our, our trading post up yet. Uh, so that's going to be pretty important, uh, which, speaking of the trading post, that is being constructed over here. That is really the only thing that we're constructing at the moment uh, because that is going to be very, very important. Uh, I want to put all of our focus, all of our laborers, all of our construction people on that. Uh, we want to get the resources delivered over there and then start doing some trading with those neighboring towns that are around us because we want to get some of these cows in here too, which I think it's safe to uh, to actually get the cows because we have, let's see, 10, uh, 10, 20, and yes, we do have 30 hay in stock. Now, I hope that 30 hay is going to be enough for however many cows we're going to be able to buy. We might have to kind of start off a little bit slow, not get too greedy uh, with the cow purchases. And then I also want to buy some ox so that we can actually plow these fields uh, because that's going to be super important. Uh, that's going to allow us to get some more production out of these three fields over here. And we're kind of uh, rotating the... Um, like how exactly we're doing the, um, you know, like one year we're going to do the wheat, then the next year we're doing potatoes, then the next year we're doing the fallowing, and that's over there. And then over here we're kind of doing potatoes, hemp, and then fallowing. And then over here we're doing the hemp, fallow, potatoes. You know, it, it's a fine art. It's a fine art. We do, luckily, we have the, uh, the manager over here, uh, Romana. She is working as our manager, and she's handling all of that for us. Uh, so that's excellent there. Really good to see. Oh. Now, I would like to get some more houses in here just so that we can get some more workers in. But um, it's of utmost importance that we build this trading post. And I'd like to get that in here ASAP. Now, construction is in progress. Unfortunately, okay, we got a second worker in there. Got a second worker. Third worker now. Excellent. So this should get constructed pretty quickly. And then once that gets constructed, we're going to have to hire some more people to do the work over there. And then on top of that, I think since the uh, the trading post is so close to our fishing operation over here, I think we want to get in another fishing uh, hut, uh, fishing dock, so that we can really focus on our fish supply so that that's one of the things that we could possibly trade. Now, I'm not sure if any of those villages are actually um, in need of fish, though. Let's see. Uh, we'll go ahead. We'll hire two workers over here. Let us do a manager as well. Now, I'm not sure exactly what the manager's role is. Um, I'm thinking let's do some wheat. We'll do some flour. We'll do some potatoes. We can do some wood. Um, let's, let's not get too crazy. We'll do something like eight of each one of these. Uh, just because in the in the little uh, experimental video that we did, like the first look and second look videos, we we put all of our food in there, and then the village was pretty much starving because all the food was over here in the trading post. Now we do need the manager, I believe, so that we could actually send out people um, to kind of exper you know, to, to find deals with our neighboring village. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to wait until this is stocked up a little bit more. And you know what, can we throw some fish in here too? We can, excellent. Uh, let's throw something like six fish in there, nothing too crazy. Then I'm thinking we might need some more carts too, because really this is the only, uh, this right here is the only cart, um, cart parking that we have. 
And I would love to actually get rid of that. And then let's see, we could do cart parking. Yes, I would love to do this over here. Let's rotate this bad boy. Let's put this up against the fence over here. Yeah, we're going to put the cart parking right there. Like a right smack dab in the middle as far back as we can. Uh, that is going to get constructed. And then let's go ahead and actually move these guys. Uh, if we drag, we can move them over here to this new cart parking. And then uh, we're going to go ahead we're going to demolish that sucker. As soon as the carts all get moved. Hopefully they're going to do that here soon. Oh. A family is out of money and a family is out of water. That is no good. Our water situation is fine though. We still have some water in there. This we can demolish uh, because something is getting relocated. You know what? We're going to wait until that's actually relocated. And then we're going to go ahead and demolish that. And then we're also going to want to get a, a visitor. Or a visitor. Hold on. We have a visitor. <laughs> All right, so they're offering us hemp and wheat. We don't want either. They're demanding sunflower oil and sunflowers. We don't have any of that. So unfortunately, we can't really we can't really do any uh, any business with you guys. Okay, our car parking it's completely empty. Let's go ahead and demolish that. That's gonna open up a little pathway there, and then this can still fit one more. Uh, however, we don't have the I think it's the woodworker. Uh, carpentry uh, the carpenter he's gonna produce the carts the wagons and the plows so we can't order the cart because we don't have a carpenter yet that's something else to put on our to-do list now let's see what kind of a stock do we have here uh, we've got a pretty good stock of wood some decent you know what it, it's getting worked on they're bringing some stuff over there I think it might be safe it might be safe to actually send somebody over here uh, I want to go to Balaklia uh, we're going to send the messenger over there. It's going to cost us $30 or whatever our currency is. We'll just call it dollars. And we'll be able to uh, to kind of trade with them. Now, which family is out of food? They have a little bit of flour, a little bit of potato. You know what? We could probably, we, sh we should. We could and we probably should do another market like much, much closer. Because right now, these families over here, they have to walk so far in order to get to our market. We've got the granary over here. We've got the two markets. It's just really not fair to have them walk that far. Um, so why don't we do that? Well, we're going to go ahead. We're going to build a little market area over here. Now I'm thinking let's rotate you. Yeah, we're going to rotate you like so. Let's make sure we've got this nice uh, and even. And I think we're going to put Ah, you know what? How do I want to do this, though? Do we want to do it over here? Um, decisions, decisions. How are we going to do this? You know what? We're going to do it just like this. We're going to put one right there. Mm, we'll do this. Um, again, which way is front? Front is that way. Okay. So we'll put one right there. And then we're going to go ahead and I keep forgetting to just hold off on that. Now, this one we're going to put right back to back. Like th that. Beautiful. That's going to work. That's going to work. Let's make sure that they're in the right way. Um, yes, they are. Good. So let's assign workers over here. That's going to give more people more jobs too. Uh, we're going to do flour. We are going to do potato. We are going to do fish. And then what do we have the most of? I think we always have potato. So let's go ahead and do potato there. Now let's assign this one. We're going to essentially do the same thing. Flour, potato, uh, potato and fish now that's gonna make it so that these families over here don't have to travel as far and the reason I did two over here is because we're gonna go ahead we're gonna expand a lot more housing over here um, housing is gonna be super important we want people to move in we want to have like a solid workforce um, now we are sending the messenger over to that other town right they're right there so they're they're a little bit more than halfway 
If we fast forward a little bit, we can kind of see our little yellow horsey rider uh, going over there. He's getting there. He's almost there. All right, now let's see. What are they offering? Uh, messenger arrived. Yes. Now they're offering us flour, cows, and iron. Um, and they're demanding potato. So let's see. If we give them, let's say, six Mm, let's see. Let's say if we give them eight potatoes, that's going to be 64. So let's make that deal. And then I'm thinking we're going to want, let's do four. And we'll do four, one. Let's do two oxen. And we'll do two bulls. Uh, and then we're still going to be making money off of this deal, right? Because we're getting 64 for exporting the eight potatoes. And we're going to only be spending 60. Um, but you know what? That doesn't make sense because it says here price per unit, $10. This is eight, right? Four plus two plus two is eight. So why is it only charging us 60? See, look, the price over here for one oxen and for two oxen is the same. <laughs> um, interesting. I think that might be a little bit of a glitch. So, you know, we're actually going to do this. We're actually going to lose a little bit of money on the deal. And I'm not going to take advantage of that little glitch. Uh, so we're going to do the four cows, two oxen, two bulls. Let's go ahead and make that deal. And hopefully, let's see, do we have, uh, hopefully we have the eight potatoes. Is it in stock? Uh, right now we have 3.3 so we're gonna have to get some more potatoes in there now I think those potatoes are probably gonna be out on the farm yeah 9.5 potatoes there and then do we have any in the granary uh, 14 potatoes so we definitely have enough we definitely do have enough uh, to be able to make that deal now it's saying again that a family is out of water so why don't we go ahead and actually put down another water well over here um, because I think this is gonna be very important to have this kind of like close by. So again, those families don't have to walk like a ridiculous amount of distance in order to get some agua. Um, workers, I didn't know that, a well, okay, no. I was gonna say, I didn't know that a well needed workers, but that's, that's the workers just to construct the actual well. Now, have they done anything over here? They did sow this field here they sowed the field over here. Now, this one is just being fallowed. So that one is getting replenished with nutrients. So that's fine there. Uh, we're going to leave that alone. Um, now that... Uh-oh. Wow, we got them already? They came in quick. Holy smokes. Let's go ahead and give them four workers. You know what? We'll do three. Three workers over here. I did not realize that we got those guys in here that quick. Holy smokes. So we have our four cows, uh, one bull, and two ox. Hmm, did a bull... Did the bull die already? Hopefully not. That would suck if a bull died already. Oh boy. Hopefully not. I really hope that um, it didn't. But you know what? It looks like it might have. Because we definitely bought two. We definitely bought two. Anyways. Um, well, let's see. How are we looking? Can't really click on these individual like to see if they're hungry or anything like that. Um, but yeah, let's see. We do have the one hay stored right there. We have the water. Um, awaiting a little bit more water. We should be able to get some more hay in there as well. Because I really, I really, really, really don't want these guys to die on us. We do have a little bit of milk. So we are going to be able to start selling some milk as well. That's going to be really cool. And now, because we do have the bull, the bull is going to be able to make some babies with those cows. Uh, so these numbers, see currently we have seven. Uh, those numbers should be going up, hopefully. Hopefully they don't go down. And is this, what is this? Is this like a new family moving in here or something? Or maybe is it a family leaving? Or is that maybe the traitor? That might be the traitor. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but you know what? We'll find out. Now, we do have the fish there, which, again, we want to probably get a little bit more fishing in. Um, we can do milk over here in the granary, too, because we are producing milk now. So I'm thinking, why don't we take out one of these potatoes and replace that with milk? 
and then we can also do the same thing over here we're just gonna do it at one of the markets because we don't have quite that big of a supply of the milk right now so I don't want just everybody being able to sell the milk uh, but let's see cow shit over here we do have the one hay so that's good I don't think they should be starving we do have a little bit of water too did this water well get built it did okay excellent so that is only going up so nobody should really be starving in this town and nobody should be thirsty um, we should be fine and we do have plenty of supply of hay I mean look at that we still have the uh, 10 there 10 there 9 there and then we do have plenty of hay dryers around still uh, producing hay for us now we could probably do some more workers over here at the fishing dock I'm thinking let's just do the full three now with that being said let's go ahead let's build some more houses because I think right now all we really need is um we need more of a population we need some more workers around here let's see yep that's gonna look good right there bam and bam and bam and that's gonna be perfect that's gonna be perfect right there Hopefully we'll be able to build that out here soon. Now it is May, so they have plenty of time uh, to build all that stuff before the winter time comes. Hopefully they'll be able to knock all that out. I'm really, I just want to kind of babysit this because I want to make sure that nothing here goes wrong. I don't want any of these, uh, the, these cows or bulls or the ox to die. Oxen, I believe that's the plural for ox, right? Oxen. I don't want any of them to die. I would, uh, my little heart would break if any of those guys happen to die. Now, we should definitely get a carpenter up here, too. Um, and I know we definitely need to get the town hall up and running, too. And I'd like to be able to put that over here, but the uh, old little town hall is kind of blocking that. Um, which is, that kind of sucks. The well... Our little hay dryer, all that is being blocked right now. <laughs> hmm, we could, we, I mean, this it would be really bad if we just put that, like, right there. Uh, I don't like that positioning whatsoever. You know what, maybe if we got rid of our little fake park over there, maybe we'd be able to, to put that in there somewhere? We could get rid of the well, too. The well is in kind of, like, a really bad spot. Let's do that. Let's demolish the well. Can't demolish this building. Not implemented yet. Okay, so we can't demolish wells yet. That's interesting. Camp center, camp storage. Now, the only thing that's being stored right there right now is the iron. We still have the worker over here. Let's go ahead and fire him. Uh, we have 898 nails. That is more than enough. More than enough. Um, let's... I mean, I, I kind of feel like there isn't a need for the campfire or for these uh, logs down here these benches for people to sit on so let's demolish all of that and you know what we might be able to squeeze that town hall in right over here we might be able to let's see uh, we would definitely have to move this bench over here so let's demolish that and now let's see if we can kind of squeeze that in Uh, trying to be trying to be perfect with this. <laughs> there we go. Oh Man, that's actually gonna work You know what that is gonna work. We're gonna put you right there and then once that gets built I think we'll be okay. We might have to kind of move this around here a little bit And they did they just chop our trees down right there? No, I don't think they did. I think they chopped down a different tree hopefully because that would be kind of rude Now, looking for labors, doesn't look like any work has started on any of these houses over here, uh, which is actually fine. Let's go ahead and move up the town hall in the priority. Uh, we do have two hay stored, two water stored, doesn't look like anybody has died off yet. We're still at seven. Um, at the same time, it doesn't look like the bull has actually impregnated any of the cows. 
So, you know what? No loss, but no gain there either. Uh, we are good on hay. How is our farm looking? We have plenty of hemp stored, and that is about it. And we're going to have even more hemp, because that's what we're producing over here. Now, I want to do. Uh, I want to make sure. So we're going to have potatoes here for the season after that. Uh, we're going to have potatoes again, and then we're going to fallow that. And then we are going to fallow again over there. So it looks like this upcoming season, we're only going to have potatoes uh, coming in here. Which is another reason why we should get a plow. So let's go ahead and let's actually build a carpenter. Um, now we want the carpenter because he's going to be able to, uh, to design the plows. Or actually build the plows for us. And he's also going to be able to do more carts. So we're going to be able to do a little bit more transportation around here. Uh, which doesn't look like it's that big of a need because... There's still the two carts over here that aren't really being used. But we definitely want the plow. So that's going to be important. And I think we might be able to get the carpenter. Let's see here. Um, carpentry. It's not the biggest building in the world. We're going to be able to squeeze that in over here. Um, which is actually something we probably want to wait for this camp center to go away. Uh, once they build this we're gonna be able to um to, to kind of like move that and then put the the carpenter over there in a little bit better of a spot now the smithy no workers that's fine forestry that's fine as well um doesn't look like our fishermen and as soon as i say that two of our fishermen actually show up to work you know what so let's uh we're gonna we're just gonna keep those two uh we've got let's let's, let's lower that by one uh, because I we, we definitely need people to start working. Uh, we need them to start building this town hall. Which is good. We have a labor. So the labor is going to start actually knocking out some of the resources that are needed over there. That is going to be excellent. Alright, good. Plenty of workers coming over there too to do that. So hopefully that town hall gets built ASAP. Look at how our town is developing. I mean, this is absolutely stunning. It is July. No snow is inbound, which is excellent. And I'm still amazed by, like, the water reflection of the sun and the buildings and everything. I mean, look at that. You can see, like, the shadow in the water from the sun shining on this building. And then you can see the, wa the shadow in the water. That is absolutely beautiful. Just absolutely beautiful. All the rocks here. The reeds. Beautiful, beautiful. And I forgot about this place over here, too. Um, we do have... We still have thatch. We do have plenty of reed in stock. The thatch is kind of running low. So I'm thinking we're going to need a worker over there uh, to produce more thatch. Even though that might not be, like, super necessary right now. I don't know if the town hall needs any thatch. I doubt it. I think they're going to be able to just build the roof out of the, uh, the wood. I think the thatch is... Typically just for the um, the village houses. Now, how is our stock looking over here in the trading post? Plenty of flour, plenty of potato. Um, we're decent on wood. Fish is up there as well. Let's go ahead and we should probably send a trader again, right? Uh, let's send one over here. That's going to cost us 80. Um, but we'll be able to do some trading there. 90 over there. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna hold off. We're just gonna send that one. Did we get any more? I think you know what? I think we got another one. Look at that eight. So we got two ox, we have four cows, and we have another cow. Look at that. Newborn cow. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'd love to see that. And we can actually designate this to use a fallow field if available, which uh, right now we can fit uh, plenty of cows in here. I think we it was like 23, I think, 23. So I'm guessing that just means 23 cows or ox or whatever can kind of roam this field. Uh, once that number gets up there, so once we get, you know, over 8 and we get closer to like 20 or something, then we can actually assign them to, uh, to kind of graze in these fallow fields. But that is going to be for the future. We're collecting plenty of potatoes over here. Excellent. So we're going to be able to trade even more of those. So I'm thinking, why don't we maybe raise the potatoes to something like 12? Uh, we're going to go ahead. We're going to do that. Messenger arrived at Derhachi. They're offering us salt, lime, and dried fish. 
I don't think we really want any of that. But uh, we might be willing to sell you some wheat. Um, let me see here. Do we have wheat in stock? No wheat in stock here. Uh, do we have wheat over here? We do have 6.5. So, yeah, keep clicking that. Uh, we do have 6.5. So I'm thinking let's sell them. Mm. Ah, this is going to be tough. I didn't want to send them all the way over there for nothing. Let's just give them the two. We'll sell them two units of wheat. That way it wasn't a total loss. And we'll send somebody over here uh, to Balaklia. Uh, because they're definitely going to buy off a lot of our potatoes. Um, they're the guys that always want potatoes. We have plenty of potatoes in stock. Especially now. Uh, we've got all the, look at that, all these potatoes over here. Uh, that we can sell them so that's gonna work that's gonna work out just fine and then look at how much hemp we have too we could definitely start making some clothes there's just always something to do here always did we get the town hall is up and running good uh, we can start raising let's see our economy last year we lost hundred and thirty seven dollars this year we're already losing three hundred and eighteen holy smokes all right, what I think we're going to do is we're going to lower this basic monthly wage. We're going to lower that to two. Um, let's raise this up to 120%. And then the village house rent, we're going to raise that up to uh, 40. We're going to raise that up to 40. Hopefully that's going to kind of help slow this down. Because this is ridiculous. We're losing so much money right now. And the primary, uh, let's see, the primary, we're getting some local sales in here. So that's decent. Our rent is going to go up as well. We are making some money off of exports. Uh, however, um, imports cost us 80. And then salary. Salary is like our big thing right now. Oh, that's not good. And then messengers. Messengers cost us a lot too. But then hopefully adjusting that is going to kind of help us out a little bit. Now let's check out our population. Um, unemployment is uh, 7 and 21%. No housing available. No housing available right now. Ah, oh, man. Let's see. Foresters, we have the two. Uh, the smithy, nobody working there because we have plenty of nails. How are we looking over here? Potatoes, eight. Did we, we sent somebody over here, right? Yeah, okay, good. So let's see. They're offering flour, cows, and iron. We are going to want a little bit more iron, I think, just to be safe. So let's do like, f let's do four iron. That's going to cost us... 36 we'll make that deal and then you know what we're gonna sell you guys potatoes um, we're gonna sell you we are gonna try to sell you guys we'll go with s see how this is messing up like it says 16 and it shows a sum of 120 and if we move it just a little bit over it's still a sum of 16 or uh, amount 16, but then the sum's 128. So you know what? We're going to go ahead and do that. Amount 16, sum 128, and then hopefully we'll get the money that way. Now that does mean we're going to need more potatoes over there. Uh, and also apparently we're going to need more workers because these guys, we're, they're hiring, but there's nobody working there. Which makes me think that, uh, I don't know. I don't know. We just need more people apparently. Apparently, that's the thing, us just needing more people. Now, we did say we were going to build a carpenter, but you know what? That's something that's going to have to hold off until the next episode. Um, the carpenter is going to be super important, uh, but again, it's going to have to wait until the next episode. Guys, if you guys are enjoying this series, do me a favor. Hit the like button. Let me know that you guys are enjoying it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and then hopefully I'll see you guys on another video. Until then, I hope you guys have a great day. And I'll see you guys later, okay? Bye.